On May 5th, 2012, I was fortunate enough to marry the love of my life and my best friend, Stephanie. Family was everything to the both of us. Well, naturally, it didn't take long before we decided that we wanted to try to start a family of our own. After a few months, Stephanie got pregnant. And then, on July 5th, 2013, our first daughter, Cameron, was born. Cameron was a beautiful, healthy baby, full of laughter, full of energy, lit up a room whenever she walked in. Cameron grew up. She started talking about how she wanted a sibling, and we wanted to give her one as well. So, we tried. Tried for a while, nothing worked. After one year of trying, naturally, no luck. Then we turned to the doctors for help. The doctors had a start with IUI. That didn't work. After two and a half long, challenging and hard years of doing two rounds of IVF, finally, our prayers were answered. God blessed us with another pregnancy. Stephanie was pregnant, family was thrilled, Cameron, was extremely excited to be a big sister soon. The 20 week ultrasound, we received some very awkward news, which no parent wants to hear, which is that your child may have a birth defect. In this case, something called bilateral club feet. Never heard of it. We were shocked, even hopeful this could be an error. But we came down to reality and soon realized, let us prepare ourselves. Let us learn more. Let us research this. And let us seek an excellent doctor so that we can bounce questions off of. That's when our paths crossed with Dr. Thomas McPartland, pediatric orthopedist in New Jersey. We had a consultation with him, spent about an hour in his office. It was very nice, answered a lot of questions, and we knew he was the right person we wanted to work with. This is a picture of what a baby looks like with club feet. You can see, in this case, the left foot is turned in. This is what this condition is. It's an abnormality in the way the foot grows. It's pretty rare. In the U.S., each year, at one, at one to four babies out of a thousand will have it. A shortened Achilles tendon is what causes the foot to turn in or even under, and half of the cases affect both feet. They're not really sure what this is. Fortunately, there is a method to treat it. The most prevalent method is something called the Ponsetti method. It's a long process, involves a series of steps. Step one is casting the feet. Step two is a surgical procedure on the tendon. Step three is wearing boots and braces for a number of months, 24 hours a day. And then at age, this goes until age three or four. There are actually some pretty famous people who have had this, who've proven you can live an exceptional life. In this case, Christy Yamaguchi, an Olympic gold medalist in figure skating, Troy Aikman, the quarterback from the Dallas Cowboys until the year 2000, and Mia Hamm, who's a women's soccer champion. Fast forward, our son Graham is born on November 11th, 2019. He was born eight pounds, seven ounces. Big kid, a cute kid. We were thrilled. And of course, we knew what we were in for, which was that he had bilateral club feet, which is what the picture is here. We wanted to give it time before we go see a doctor. So we brought him home, introduced him to the pets. For three weeks, Graham was at home, big sister doting on him every day. We were all extremely excited took some family portraits. Basically, our family was complete. Graham had his first checkup with his pediatrician. Luckily, he was a healthy child, with the exception of the defect of his feet, which we obviously knew about. So at three weeks old, this is when we were gonna start the casting process. Casting means that every single week he will have casts on and we have to go to the doctor for up to six to seven weeks after that to get his casts redone. The goal is to restart reshaping the foot. Here Graham is at his first appointment with Dr. McPartland. You can see he's now working on his left leg, he's putting the cast on. This is just like a cast you get if you were to break your arm. He starts shaping the foot angling it a particular way. His goal is to turn his foot outward. And it goes on both legs. Here you see Graham has both casts on, sleeping through that whole procedure. He was such a good boy. Now he's coming home. Week one, so far so good. No problems. Graham's sleeping through the night. 
No issues with the casts. He does have some casts. Unfortunately, some acid reflux, but in terms of the casts, this is something um, that's going well. Every week you go to the doctors, you see what happens. They actually have to cut the casts off. They're traumatizing as a parent, as you can obviously imagine. Graham, look at him. He's not even moving or budging. He's fine. They take the old casts off in preparation of putting the new ones in. This is what the casts look like when they're taken off. You can see the casts are actually pretty thick, kind of heavy. You can imagine a baby for seven weeks of his life having these heavy things on his feet. He's going to grow up with some pretty strong abdominals and a good core. There's a picture of Graham's feet after week three. Look at his feet already turning out compared to just at uh, three weeks. So now his new casts are being are already on, ready to take him home. At home, showing you a picture of what it looks like, these casts on both legs go all the way up to the groin area, and it keeps his foot positioned in a particular way. Christmas morning, 2019, we soon have to go back. Week number four for Graham's casts. Look at a little peanut. End of week four, look at Graham's feet, looking, looking good. Here the doctor is applying the cast for week number five. And even through all of that, not even crying. He's such a good boy. After week five complete, here's a picture of his feet. Here's Graham in an amazing bassinet called the Snoo. Highly recommend it. This is an exciting day. Graham is going back to the doctor where he's going to go for his last round of casts. Week number seven. It's the last week for his casts. New casts are on, final week. These casts need to stay on for five days. The next stage in the process is to go to the hospital for the surgical procedure to get the, the tendon release. January 21st, 2020, early in the morning, we show up to the hospital. Starting to get ready, starting to check in. Graham's getting into his gown, ready for the procedure. And off he goes. Still somehow managing to sleep. The boy loves to sleep. Thank God everything went well. Surgical procedures done in both feet. He has new casts on. These new casts are now going to be on for three weeks. The goal is to have things heal and everything look good. Here was a tricky day. After three weeks of his legs not seeing any air or touching skin, these casts finally come off. 11 weeks, Graham is all done. No more casts. We're so proud of him. He did amazing. The next phase is the boots and bar, something called a Dobbs bar. Graham wears these buckled type shoes on both feet. He has to then have these boots connected with a bar. And there's two kinds of bars, a Ponsetti bar and a Dobbs bar. Both apparently work equally fine. We chose a Dobbs bar because there's flexibility where the feet can move a little bit independently. There you see Graham with the boots and bars connected. Graham needs to wear these boots and bars 24 hours a day for three months. This is what his feet look like when we Gave him a quick bath. Just wanted to take a quick picture. You can take the bar, the boots and bar off for at least an hour. One month of wearing the boots and bars behind us. Graham's now back in the doctor's office for just a checkup. There Graham is with Dr. McPartland. Doctor said everything looks good. We now don't need to come back for the remainder of the time, which is for two months. That fuzzy thing in the middle you see is something that Stephanie bought to try to protect him in case he hit something or himself. Here's, of course, Cammie, the best big sister a brother can ask for. April 16th, 2020, Graham's five months old. Stephanie and I have been, Stephanie and I have been trying to encourage him to put more weight on his feet his legs. This bouncer is a great way for him to do that. 
joking and laughing. This is a picture he'll never let down as he gets older. I'll bring that one back somehow. <laughs> On May 6, 2020. Doctor's checkup because three months is now done. 24 hours of wearing the boots is now complete. Ram's now going to see the doctor to ensure that the feet continue to look good, which in this case they did. So it's all done. Now he only needs to wear the boots and bar during nap times and bedtime. This will be his routine until the age of three. It's much, much better than what he's had to deal with in the past. So proud of him. Here's a picture showing a comparison of what his feet look like at birth until week seven. It's amazing how they change in such a short amount of time. Since the bars and boots have come off, Graham has been doing amazing, as you'll see in the pics. His legs are strong, he's standing, he's walking with the aid of a walker, he's climbing stairs, we feel so blessed. I think I must make, make you aware as well that Graham has just been phenomenal throughout this whole process. We're incredibly blessed. The boy can sleep 12 hours. When these boots and bar came off, you can tell he had just a new sense of freedom. He felt, looked at life a little bit different, if that sounds crazy. He crawls across the floor so fast. He just has a sense of excitement to his energy. And every day he's always, you know, learning something new and, and getting around better and better. In this case, seeing you'll see him in the walker. He flies around the house in this thing. Unfortunately, the pets catch the grunt of that. In this case, our cat Meow Meow is going to get run over. <laughs> Steph's going to help him. But yeah, it's just amazing. He just feels like he's got a new sense of freedom. Here, October 12, 2020, he's 11 months old. He's picking himself up. He'll go up those stairs if we allowed him to. He's so strong now and he's getting more comfortable with his with his feet and he'll stand on his own for, for five or 10 seconds sometimes. We're hoping the next couple months he'll start walking on his own here. The remaining pictures are from November and December. Graham at that point is a year or more. And as you can see, his progression is just getting better and better. Now, looking back at the original point of this video, we really hope that somebody finds this video, finds comfort, and finds, finds it helpful to see an informative video from a family who's been through this, can give their own firsthand account what it's like instead of going through the bowels of the internet because you can really find some scary things on there and you'll find the worst of the worst. But that was the real point of doing this video. As time goes on, as Graham continues to progress, we'll look to continue to chronicle his story. Let's see how he gets at age two or three. This was the whole reason I did this. My whole world's right there. <laughs>